What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and today we're taking a look at a mini portable projector from a company called Venkyo. This is their Leisure 470. It's about $130, but check my link down below. There's always some kind of coupon code going on. And this is a great projector because it has Wi-Fi built in, so it's really a simple way to maybe project the game onto your wall when you have friends over, or maybe you just want to share some photos. You want to share some local video without any wires, without any hassle, really. The Vankyo Leisure 470 is the way to go. It's a native 720p projector, but it has support up to 1080. So let's go ahead, unbox it, and check it out together. Let's open this up and see what we get inside. Again, this is a portable projector, so it's really cool that they give you this nice little carry case. It just means that you're not going to have to worry about damaging this projector. And it is really nice, it has some nice padding to it, so no issues with this whatsoever. Opening it up, let's see what we get inside. Of course we get the power cable. There's a pretty cool remote control here, so you don't have to be near the projector to increase the volume or change the settings, go forward, go next. It's a fully functional remote control. Inside you also get an HDMI cable, which is very nice of them to include. And then we get the AV hookup, but thankfully this projector does have two HDMI inputs, and again, it does have Wi-Fi, so we're not really too concerned. There is a USB port, and there also is an SD card slot, so no matter where your multimedia is, you're not going to have any issue connecting it to the actual Venkyo projector. So that's basically it inside the box. Again, I like this carry case. I definitely like that they're thinking about keeping their projector safe. Here's the books if you need to use that, but we definitely don't need to use it. Quick start guide, etc., etc. And now this is the actual projector itself. So just take a look at it. It is not a super mini mini projector, but it is portable thanks to that carry case and it's definitely not heavy at all. On the top here, here's your keystone correction right over there. You have actual buttons on the top of the projector. So if your batteries go out on your remote control or whatever the case is, you can always control it via these buttons on the top. On the back, here's your VGA input. On the side, this is where all of your multimedia is gonna go into if you don't wanna use Wi-Fi, but I bet a lot of people, most of us are just gonna use Wi-Fi. You have an SD card slot. Here is a headphone jack, so if you wanna just connect headphones to it, or even possibly an external speaker, you can do so. Here's your AV port for this old school cable if you need to use that. HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then USB right over there. To adjust the height, all you have to do is kind of rotate this built-in screw. And I definitely like this. A lot of projectors just have the screw as a separate piece. I lost that quite a number of times, but thankfully this one is built in. And basically that's it guys. So let's go ahead, turn it on, check out the quality, check out the settings and figure it out together. A couple things to note with screen mirroring, it works really well with iOS. So if you have an iOS device, you'll be just fine. With Android, Android's a little picky with Miracast these days. It didn't really work too well. I tried using Bubble UPnP and I was able to share photos and some MP3s, but in terms of video, it did not play the video, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you have Android, you're going to want to plug it in using the HDMI cable and a USB-C adapter or whatever method you use to get video out from your Android device. On iOS, it works perfectly as it should, so no issues with iOS and Miracast. Taking a look at our settings here for picture mode, you have a couple options. So there's standard, you have soft, you also have user defined or vivid. Just pick which one works best for you and pick which one works best for whatever media you're playing on your Vankyo projector. Same goes for temperature, you can adjust that. Same goes for the aspect ratio. So if you want a 4x3, you can do that as 16x9 or just leave it on auto and then it'll just figure out what you need depending on the media again. Noise reduction. You can play around with those settings too if you need to. Projection direction, this is great if you have it on the wall, if you have it upside down, no matter which way you place your projector, you're going to be able to have the right picture right side up. Other than that setting, you also have another setting for your HDMI, so it can either be PC or AV. And then you can reduce the display size if you need to. So again, if you want to get that perfect fit, you can get that perfect fit. Sound mode, there's a couple options for sound, so you have music, movie, sports, or user-defined again. These speakers are okay, so you're not going to need to really mess around too much with it or with the balance or anything like that. Really just plug in an external speaker system and you'll be much better off. Same goes for auto volume. Just leave it on, on usually, and then it'll just sort of detect the volume needed for it, depending on the media again. 
So just going into it, I'm going to show you some samples of the quality and I was really impressed with the quality of the Vankyo projector. It is a 720p projector, but the quality was actually really, really good. So let's get into the samples and you judge for yourself. Last season on Mayans MC. Hey, I talk to you about mom and you that. that they've released the impact skin let's go ahead unbox it check it out together before we start the video if you want to pick up any of rhino shields products no matter what device you have use code jabbertech and save yourself 10 percent i can highly recommend the crash guard if you haven't seen my review into this new screen protector that i have here just to test <laughs> and the older sisters. In the last 10 years, the family have exploded. You've got the other half-sisters, Kendall and Kylie, who are doing their own thing. Finally, after my review, what are my thoughts about the Vankyo portable projector? And for those of you wondering, I could not give you the video sample straight on just to avoid copyright protection laws, but the quality was really good. It's something that really impressed me, especially for the price, especially considering this is a portable projector. I would definitely see myself using this on game day or movie night or something like that. Now, just in terms of a few strikes against this projector, number one, if you have an Android phone, the wireless screen share is definitely not working for me. It works on some phones, so if you have any luck with it, let me know down below what phone model you have because my Samsung, LG, and Google phones just did not play correctly with this. On iOS, it worked perfectly fine. So for those Apple users out there, you'll have no issues with this. In terms of speaker quality, I thought the speakers did a really nice job, even though that fan was doing its job keeping this projector cool. My advice to you, I'm sure you got some old, old speaker system lying around. Just connect it with the 3.5mm jack, just so that you get a little bit better sound. But for the impromptu movie night, game night, Super Bowl night, whatever it is, these speakers will be just fine in a pinch, considering all you have to do is keep this in your car, and when someone's TV goes out, or if you're camping, or whatever you'll be the star of the show because you have your own portable projector that you can hook up your phone to so for 130 bucks i can really recommend this let me know what you think about its quality down below i'm all about tech that i need and this definitely fulfills that so i really appreciate you guys watching thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time